Hey y'all, Mama Snark here. I'm gonna do a quick little announcement video for you. If you can't guess what it is. So coming up, I have not one, not two, <laughs> but three Walt Disney World trips planned coming up. And they are all three very different types of trips. So I just wanted to come on here and do a quick little announcement and kind of ask you guys if there's anything that you like specific that you want me to film on there that I haven't yet. Um, this is kind of while I started the channel, number one, so we had like homemade videos of our kids growing up. And number two, because when I started planning our first Disney trip with children, it's a whole different ball game going to Disney World with kids than going without kids. So I wanted to see like how to get a double stroller in the Skyliner, how to get a double stroller in a bus. <laughs> How do you get a double stroller and a bus with two sleeping kids? And that kind of thing. How to get groceries delivered. I've already done all of those. So I was wondering if there was just anything. Sorry, the camera is going to be kind of wonky. I'm holding it out. But I was just coming to see if there's anything specific that you would like to see. Kind of the inner workings of while I'm there. Like, I don't know. Anything in general. So I'll tell you the three different types of trips that I'm doing. And you can kind of go from there. So the first type of trip is going to be in a couple of weeks in January, and I'm not going to give like specific dates because, you know, privacy reasons and things like that. For the first trip, I'm going to be going when it's still the cooler months of winter, and I'm going to be taking my son Man Cub by myself, solo, just he and I, for a quick little three-night getaway. So we're going to land on a Saturday, we're going to have... Monday for his actual birthday in the parks at Hollywood Studios, Tuesday at, uh, or Monday at Epcot, and the Festival of the Arts is going on, which is my first time doing this festival, and the mascot is Figment the Dragon, which is Man Cub's absolute favorite ride in all of Disney World. If you've watched our vlogs, like, he's obsessed with Figment the Dragon, so I'm pretty excited he'll be able to see, like, all the Figment things you know out and about and then Tuesday we'll be flying home so still kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to do with him like on those little like off times on the travel days I might hit up Disney Springs for a little bit um I might take him to go play mini golf when you stay on site you do receive some like vouchers with your luggage tags that they sent to me for free rounds of mini golf at either I think Winter Wonderland or the Fantasia one at the Dolphin Resort so I might take the Skyliner over to the boardwalk and then walk over to Swan and Dolphin and maybe do mini golf. I'm not sure yet. We're just gonna kind of go with the flow and it's his birthday trip. So I'm gonna let him decide pretty much what he wants to do and let it be kind of like a man cub mama trip. So that's gonna be my first trip. Flying solo, Spirit Airlines, two personal items only with just me and my five-year-old or oh my God, he's almost five y'all. My almost five-year-old, he'll be five on the trip. He'll actually have his birthday morning in Disney, which is like, I would have loved that as a kid. So he's getting his birthday trip. And then this was a kind of last minute trip that got thrown together. I had mentioned to one of Weezer's friend's mom that I was taking Bubba for his birthday. And she was like, oh my gosh, I've wanted to go to Disney World with her daughter for a while and her husband refuses to take them. So I was like, I'll go on a girl's trip with you if you want to and we can take the girls together. She jumped on it, her husband jumped on it really quickly. It was like, just give me a price because he doesn't want to go. So in March, I will be flying solo with another mom and her daughter that's a little bit older than Weezer, even though Weezer's bigger than her. <laughs> and we'll be flying Spirit Airlines again personal bag only. My mom friend's a little bit nervous about it, but I assured her, knock on wood, I've flown Spirit Airlines several times now, and it's, I mean, it's no frills or anything like that, but it's fine, and it, it's a straightforward flight from New Orleans to Orlando, so it's like an hour and a half flight. It's not bad at all. So, two times I'll be flying Spirit Airlines, and I do have a Spirit Airline, like, vlog coming at some point kind of reviewing it and telling you my experiences with it like I said I haven't had any issues so we flying spirit we're going to be going in March say oh with Manco I'm staying at all-star music for this trip with the girls we're going to be staying at all-star movies because I figured you know they'd like that a little bit more and we're going to do so with Manco I already said I'm doing Hollywood Studios and Epcot 
the girls trip we're gonna take the girls to magic kingdom because we don't know if her daughter is gonna like do okay with rides like my kids as you've seen and will continue to see on the vlogs coming out from our november trip our adrenaline junkies like myself and my husband roller coasters hands up mama hands up so tower of terror she loved it because she said it makes my hair fly up <laughs> So we're not sure how her daughter is going to handle rides, if she's going to be like Weezer and love them, or if she's going to be a little bit more like timid and reserved. So we're going to do Magic Kingdom for sure. And that's also like the park. And she said that this might be her one and only Disney trip because her husband doesn't want to go. So this might be her only time to go ever. So I kind of want to make sure we do all the must do's with them. So we're going to do Magic Kingdom and then Epcot and the flower and garden festival will have started while we're there which i've also never done so i'm getting two festivals back to back and i'm very excited about it and then we're gonna do hollywood studios <clears throat> i debated between hollywood and epcot but hollywood has a little bit more like rides and it has the stage shows and things like that so we settled on that one so that's gonna be that one we're gonna be taking a double stroller for, um for that one i'll take my juvie and i'll insert my link for my double stroller video but I'm going to be drink, bringing my Juvie Cooper double stroller for that one for the girls because we're going to be buses only, no Skyliner, so I don't need the tandem. So <laughs> we're going to see how I handle actually having to push a double stroller and get a double stroller on and off of a bus because I'm not going to have my muscle, <laughs> aka my husband, to do it all for me this trip. So we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> and then the last trip I'm taking is going to be in May with just myself and a girlfriend and I'm so very very excited about it because I love my children I love seeing Disney through their eyes like it's magic it's pure magic to see my kids light up and get excited about everything and see all the rides and all the you know the fireworks and everything but being able to go solo is going to be just kind of a breezy like comfort trip so I'm going to be doing a first with her and we're actually going to be staying off-site at a good neighbor hotel. So we should still get the early entry to the park, so 30 minutes early. And I believe we still have the dining, like, booking window that opens early. And then I'm not sure. I'll update y'all as we go because I don't know yet. I'm, I don't know if we have early access to the virtual queue in the Genie Plus or if I have to wait till the park opens for that. So that'll be kind of a, an adventure. So... <clears throat> With Man Cub and with my girls trip, I'll be taking either Mirrors or Sunshine Flyer. I already booked Sunshine Flyer with Man Cub and I do have a video I plan to come out with um, comparing Mirrors and Sunshine because we use Mirrors in November. So I'm going to take Sunshine and compare the two and figure out which one I'm going to do for the girls trip. But staying off site, I can't take Mirrors or Sunshine Flyer because it doesn't go there. So we're probably going to be Ubering for the first time and I'll let y'all know how that goes. We'll be staying at the newly opened Drury Plaza at uh, Disney Springs. So they have free breakfast, a 5.30 kickback with like free appetizers and three free adult beverages per adult, as well as it's in within walking distance to Disney Springs. And then this is the thing I'm most worried about and why I didn't want to do this one with a kid yet is it has its own bus service to and from the parks, but it's not going to be like Disney buses that are continually running every you know 20 to 30 minutes so i think it's like on an hourly schedule or a two hourly schedule and you have to like schedule in an app or something so worst case scenario if the buses are awful we'll uber because we're two adults if i had a kid with me and had to do that i'd have to track down an uber with a car seat and or i'd have to bring like my little my fold booster seat which i just that makes me nervous ubering with a kid anyway because like i'm in a car with a stranger that i don't know and i don't know their intentions and that makes me nervous with a kid so those are my three different trips and for the one in may my girlfriend's never been to disney either so we are actually hitting up all four parks flying spirit again because y'all it's cheap and i have had no issues with it we are checking bags on that one because she's a chronic overpacker and going by myself i'm probably gonna bring back some souvenirs because i'm gonna have mom guilt so i'll probably need room in a suitcase for stuffies to come home with me so Flying Spirit Airlines, we're going to land, have a chill day when we land. We're going to do Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and then Animal Kingdom the day we fly out. And our flight leaving doesn't leave until 11-something, and we don't land in New Orleans until midnight. So, 
gonna see how that goes because I've heard it's the late flights that get canceled. So that one I'm a little nervous about, but again, it's two adults. Worst case scenario, we'll pop a squat in the airport, get a cheap hotel for the night, whatever, we'll figure it out. So those are my three trips I have coming up. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Um, like I said, if there's anything specific that you would like for me to film more on there and look out for and kind of let you know how it works, I'd be happy to do that. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, like, hit that notification bell, follow along. Bye guys.